Damn it. I have a really bad feeling about this. You're surprisingly perceptive, Kanata. I fear your hunch is correct. You again. You've gotten chatty all of a sudden. I will warn you now. The emotional reunion you hope for won't happen. A threat you can do nothing about has already made its appearance. Who the hell are you anyway? Just show yourself already! Was that who's been talking to us? No, that wasn't me. I'm right here. No, look lower. Uh, it's coming from your right hand, Kanata. My hand? I had hoped to merely observe, but I fear I must get more involved. I am Yamatoga. I had not foreseen this situation, and as such, am a tad uh, discombobulated. For now, it'd be best for all involved if you'd hurry. I had heard a man's voice in my head several times before, but now at least I knew I wasn't going nuts. He called himself Yamatoga. It seemed this Yamatoga knew more about what was going on than we did and was trying to guide us somewhere. Let's get started! We can ride it out! That went pretty well. Mitsuhide! Hey, Mitsuhide! Kanata? Is that you? Just keep back! Stay away! Kohoru! Oh god! This can't be happening! Tell me what you are! Answer me! I told you we have no idea what's going on here! Listen to me. I'm begging you. Just let Koharu go! I know that aura. It is that of one who stood by Lady Zenobia's side and fought with us against Amatsune! Stop! Bartharosa! That voice and that aura. What? What is happening? Have you truly become one with this frail creature? I find it difficult to believe. But if it is true, and your lordship still lives, then the last wish of the Shasua may yet come to pass. I'm afraid that is not possible. Listen. 
This silver-haired youth seems to have a passionate hatred for you. What? Do you dare betray us? Yamatoga! You understand how I feel, don't you? Answer me! Yes, I do. Painfully so. <gasps> I will provide the most optimum solution of the Radium System. You now have use of the Astra System, the technology the Ethereal Brigade abused for so long. Lord Yamatoka, you mustn't. Do you truly intend to do this and turn against Lady Zenobia? To each of you, I give Xenofactor. Put all unnecessary emotions aside. Let the will to fight become your weapon. Are you listening, Kanata? Never forget what I'm about to tell you. This is important. It is not I, but you. It is you and your will that will change everything. Go! Activate your Xeno Factor! Let's beat the bad guys!
Haru, please! Open your eyes! Mitsuhide! Kanata! Kanata, is that really you? How's Koharu? What happened to her? K Koharu. Damn it all! What the hell is going on here? Why is this happening? God. Why? Why the tears, Kanata? You just went through something similar, I believe. Huh? Wait, what the hell? Her wounds, they're healing. Uh, huh? I, I'm alive? Koharu. Mitsuhide? And Kanata's here? She... she came back to life! Having merged with me, you now hold the same power as I. Immortality. I have no idea who you are, but... I can't thank you enough. <laughs> Don't be so quick to thank me. Immortality means no matter how great your pain, you cannot escape it. Honestly, it was hard to believe that we were immortal now or whatever, but that didn't change the fact that Goharu was saved. We were all incredibly thankful for that. Still, Yamatoga declared that immortality was not something to be happy about. It was nothing but pain. Maybe that's something only someone who was already immortal could understand. <laughs>